Amazon streaming its first NFL game last night. Prime members were able to catch the Green Bay Packers top the Chicago Bears 35 to 14. Amazon also produced a pregame show hosted by former NFL player Tiki Barber and Australian chef Curtis Stone. Let's bring in Eric Chemi. He's following this story and a number of others for us this morning. Was that a success for Amazon? I guess we don't know yet. You don't know yet based on the numbers, but also if it's the first game and they had this big lightning delay, that was 45 minutes. So you're going to lose a lot of people just because of that timing wise. Wait, 45 minutes? Yeah, there was lightning and they told the players, get inside. We're just going to have to light. wait oh, this it out. It wasn't an Amazon thing. It was a it was game a thing, game a, thing. Okay. a God yeah. and weather thing. How does Amazon monetize this? That, clearly, they hope they drive prime members is one area. But, but are they also heavy on the advertising in a way that they aren't for their drama shows, their films? Well, the pregame show, a lot of the purpose of the pregame show is simply, here's how you can buy Amazon products to help you enjoy all kinds of things in your life, like watching football. So I think this is a way to set people up to get in front of the Amazon ecosystem and start buying things and get prime memberships. All right, let's talk broader NFL numbers. It has been quite the week for viewership. Right. What do we know after the controversy that unfolded this weekend and continued into the week from the presidential Twitter account? It's interesting because there's a new poll out, came out yesterday from Seton Hall University, and it suggested 29% of Americans were watching less football this year, and 47% of those people said it was because of the players protesting the national anthem. So you put that together, that's like saying, 14% of Americans have cut back on watching, and it's because of the protests. So on first glance, that might make sense because of the president's tweets shaming the NFL and saying ratings are way down. But it may not actually be the whole truth, because the real data from Nielsen says the total reach of the NFL last week was only down 5% versus last year. And this year has seen some other big factors, like cord cutting, obviously, and Hurricane Irma wiping out a lot of people being able to watch games. So the large gap between polls and reality could suggest people are lying to pollsters. It's a phenomenon that goes way back many years, where people say what they think a pollster wants to hear, but they actually do something else in reality. It's even been cited as one reason why Donald Trump did better in the polls, uh, did better in the election last year than the polls had suggested. Another effect going on right now, while the number of people watching is relatively steady, the average person spends less time watching, and that's no different than any other TV show. So we know cord cutting isn't going to stop, and we know more online services are airing games like Amazon. So you put it all together, and that trend suggests ratings will keep declining regardless of the protests, and that's for football and for all of television all of television. So it also means you can't take stock in what the poll results say because humans like to say one thing and do something else. So that's really what's going on. But the here. president can say it. President can say whatever he wants and Twitter's not going to block any of his tweets obviously. So he's good to go. But it's interesting uh, stepping away from the president thing that we're seeing a decline in, in numbers of viewers for what is probably the most prized piece of content because it's live and it's exclusive at a time when still you're seeing the new competition enter, Amazon and Twitter entering that space as well. So it's just sort of a double lose-lose for the traditional broadcast. So what's happening is all TV ratings are going down a lot. Let's call it double digits. But NFL TV ratings are going down single digits. So relative to the universe they're in, they're still doing pretty well, and they're doing better than what you know, what the rest mm -hmm. of the options are. It's still the number one show on television. But you're right, if it's on Amazon, the Amazon number is going to be a tiny fraction of what the TV number is. Eric, thanks for joining us. You got it, guys. Eric Chemi. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.